Hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. Uh, we're about to drop Pinello here. I guess we should go ahead and remove that from her. And we're going to head into the palace today. This is the chest I mentioned earlier. I feel like if you open that, you completely miss out on hey, at least the guaranteed Zodiac Spear. Still have to skip cutscenes, unfortunately. I really, I did enjoy watching them when I was allowed to, but Square Enix acting a fool. Oh ho! So you've got the Sunstone, have you? Hand it over, my boy. And I'll use it to give the crescent note back its magic, like I promised. Skip it. Alright. So now, my memory tells me that we have to enter through the sewers. And they're actually... Oh, no. Nope, no cutscenes for us. But that shows a... Uh, just a little hint of a new character there. There's someone else, you know, messing around in the waterways. Not just us. Yeah, there we can see the entrance. Let's move around the outside. Just help fill out the map just a little bit. We had never come down here. And now we have. Storehouse number five. Bam! Kite's just waiting. Hey, Vaughn. I finally figured out... I finally worked out how to get the door on the left side open. I hope there's something there besides rats. I wanted you to go in first, so I wait for you to come before opening it. Well, that's one of the reasons I waited. Thing is, I'm gonna need some special tools to open the door. Gonna need you to fetch them for me. I know, I know. Not the most exciting to do, is it? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I got everything. I got everything I need ready to go. Hang on while I open it. Let's see, yeah, that should do it. Huh? Ah, ah, oh, ah, oh. It's open! Now we got a whole nother place to explore. Oh, and I almost forgot, take these with you before you go. No telling what's down there, might come in handy. Some potions and some eye drops. Cool. Cool, my dude. So. I think. Nope, oh, nope, not watching that. Uh, I think we'll put on... Oh, he can't actually wear the Argyle. Okay, I was going to put on the Argyle amulet, but... Since he can't, we won't. Uh, I don't think we need a save right now, so... We'll head this way. Uh, probably the wrong way. Yeah, some some tell me the other way is the way I want to go. Oh, oh, years old memories directing me. Yep. This is exactly what I thought it was going to be. We can go around this way, but we end up... circling around into a broken portion. But there is a chest. You dick. Would you fucking fight the one that's right next to you? Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah. 
fucking rats, man. Get the fuck out of here. There we go. A mace. Could have used that if he was still a uh, a red battle mage. But I would have already bought one from now. I'm gonna. But I guess this does help with the fourth member of the party, which is a long way away, but it will give them something. Nope. This one's the health. Alright. Now we can head this way. And... As I've mentioned more than once. Yeah. I am trying to explore the entirety of the maps. So that includes looking at all these little nooks and crannies. Gotcha. Sure of one shotting these things. Ha. Yeah. All right, I don't want to fuck with the stereo stealing just yet, but he seems to be chasing. Now, I wanted to get this chain going as long as I could before I messed with him. But I think... I think we're gonna have to call it here. No, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Don't do that. Since we hit that chain level, now my, now my enthusiasm is reinvigorated. Let's get this guy, maybe we can get one disc, at least. Yeah. No, no, didn't get it. Fuck you. Look at that. If I had Libra. But he's got one health. Put your sword away. There's another rare game down here, if you're lucky. Yeah. 
There we go, there's a one shot. Interesting that his bar is all yellow, where everyone else seems to have some sort of gradient. This guy is just all yellow. Look at the stars. Look how they shine for me. Everything that you do. He was all yellow. That rat is shining for some reason. Yeah. I think he might have been confused and hurt himself in his confusion. That might be him down there. I feel like that's the area he hangs out in. I, I just don't recall if anyone hangs out there with him or if he's his own man. Still got the yellow bar, so I'm going to say it's not him. I might actually heal myself up if I see him though. Ha. Checking for any chests. Might get a little serious. Get a combo. Yeah, it's getting a little serious. Ooh, boy. Okay, keep playing, keep playing, swing on. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, shit. If this fucker gets a combo on me. Run, 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 run. Oh. All right, if I see anything else, I'm going to have to heal up. So I simply don't... I can't one-shot anything, so I'm going to have to take... What have they got? The rare game is not here, but we can come back later. If we choose to. Nope, 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 my dude. Nope, we are not doing that game. Alright. First one of these we've seen. This is a map container. An urn, they call it, but. It gives you the map for the area. And yeah, he, you just cannot go back. Because he's stubborn. And we'll pop a save. And I think this is about the time to start doing some overwrites. I like the old system where it showed you... See, now this is here. So I'm going to have to go by the date and time to know which one to overwrite. The old system, all the save files, they showed you the amount of time you've been playing the game. 
and that made it really easy to see which was which. I guess I can just chat with these women. <laughs> Hello? Alright, I think... Uh, this is, again, this is working on big memory here. But I think one of the chests here, maybe one of these two, but I'm not going to risk it. I, I think one of these chests in this room is also associated with the spear. So I'm not going to open any chests in this room. Have you gathered up all the occasionals? Good. You'll be on cleanup duty when the fate is over. Wait here until they're ready for you. No one goes to the upper floor until we give the order. Step out of line and you will be punished. And then I think... We have to try? Wait here until I have further directions for you. We have to try? And then that guy's like, what is he doing? And then you're like, hey bud. Trying to go stare at you. I know. You hungry. I don't blame you. I'm just telling make me want to crash fate too. No, no, no. No use trying to hide it. Look here. I'll help you out. Okay. So press square to call the guard. I'll hand him what he comes to make for the stairs. Ah, right, get too close and he's like, I won't you. Give her a try. Hey, Buckethead. All right. Now's your chance. Here you go. I'm going to hang out here. It's weird to me that I'm the one that called, but he goes to talk to the other guy. Makes no sense at all. But whatever. Me out. Alright, and then I know we got a little bit of a puzzle in this room, but it's been a long time since I've done it, so I'm gonna have to try to remember how to do it. Alright. What is all done? The signal yearns for sensor strength to light the cloud today, but there's more. Give the sensor power life. Huh. Seems like I gotta figure something fine. So, yeah, we're looking for this griffin, but we see we've got this asshole here. There's some assholes down there. There is not any assholes down there. So it would seem we're gonna have to call these guys. That's a hawk. Hello. They just run in the other hall and stop pursuing us. It doesn't make much sense. I mean, I guess if I'm running around this corner, they're like, okay, where to go, where to go? Where to... I don't know, it's only one way, though. Like, how? Okay. How many directions could I have gone? Alright, so I think we called them... Is that the lion? Yes, it is. Okay. Use it. All right, we call them. And then I think we call everyone back, even though I'm a little bit uncertain of that. I think that's the way to do it, so. Over here. Come here, buddy. Call him back. Run, 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 run. Call these guys back. I feel like we have hey, to be on the head. other end of the signal for them to hear us. And then... We call this guy back. I did just realize that there is a... Uh, one, Over two, here. and three guards. I wonder if maybe they want you to do it in that order, but that doesn't make any sense to me, so. I think I'm thinking a little bit too hard about it. But anyway, they're all down at the other end of the hallway. Now we can just run around this way. And I don't know if it's the one at the end, or if it's the one off to the left where they were standing. But I think we're going to go to the end here. Give that a try. No, not this one. Oh, there he is. Suspicious wall, but not the suspicious wall. There we go. There's the light.
that is how you do it. Well, that takes care of the secret passage. Now, where is this uh, treasure? He just yells at the wall, hey, watch it! Alright, and then we got another little switch over here somewhere. There we go. Press it. And examine this. Pool. Oh wow, I cannot be watching this stuff. Oh man. Oh dear. Oh dear. Alright, so we can't go this way. So it is up the stairs with us. And there's a really cool scene up here where we get to see Balthier and Fran on a fucking hover bike and they grab us out of the air or maybe they I don't think out of the air is exactly right but okay and bust through the door but no we can't watch it both here and friend join the party hey what the fuck you skip the cutscenes and you're like what the hell there's two people here but uh yeah, they were they were driving their motorbike. This might be remnants of it. I'm not sure exactly. And they grabbed us, but like it failed for some reason. I think there's like an anti-magic field. I'm not gonna save immediately because there's a lengthy ass tutorial down here. Ah, that's what I thought. You don't know much about gambits yet, do you? This gameplay, I don't want to peep. I don't care to peep myself. For each gambit, you can combine one action with a target for that action. Example, you can arrange a cure be cast on an ally whose HP falls below 50%. Useful, that. Of course, one error in judgment, you could well find yourself throwing punches at that same ally. If you have a good head on your soldiers, it should come easily enough. Hmm, I fear, I fear a more detailed explanation is in order. So these are gambits, and this is what I'm talking about. They're, we start with two of them. But I know that I ended up having a long list, 12 or 14. But yeah, he can cast the potion on any ally who needs it, but that is too much. So he changes this to an ally whose health is below 70%. And that's pretty cool. But... But, as I said earlier, I used to have it where everybody was a bit of a jack-of-all-trades. And so, like, everybody had cure, you know? But now, we have a designated healer. I, I know that Red Battle Mage ends up getting the cure. Because when I was looking around at that, I did see that you can get up to some of the higher cures. But... Yeah, that's a long way away. So right now, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do. But I'll take a gander at them. And let's, uh, let's look at these corpses as well. No skippy. Skippy skip, and now we can save. But first... Balthier... I think I'm going to make you a foe breaker. I believe that's what I decided for you. And now I definitely want to see... Uh, we'll choose France first, but I want to see... Are some of these bridges made now? Okay, foe breaker, and she was supposed to be... Machinist? No. No. 
time battle mage. That's that's what I want her. I want her to be time battle mage plus archer. But since we have a crossbow now, time battle mage is where I send her. There we go. All right. So now I just want to look at him, and they're still not here. But maybe I just don't have that. Maybe I just haven't unlocked that yet. I'm still not giving up hope that that's the case. But anyway, we have a hand axe. Oh no, there's one right there. Right there's a gambit slot. Hmm. So he can get them now. But I still don't see any... There's one. There's one. So... Can he only get to this stuff if we do a an Esper? Very interesting. Yeah, Gamma Slot right here. I'm curious if this was here beforehand. I don't think it was. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I would have noticed that. Alright, very very interesting. So we'll just give him hand axe. I kind of want to give him the bangle, too. There's Fire of War immediately for him. This is all gamut slots up here. So I pretty much w definitely want to give him that one. And that one. And this one. So this is the only one I don't want to give him? Is that what we're deciding? Man. Well, I, I still think we want to do that, so... Just get into there. Ignoring this one, I suppose. And then Fran. Well, I definitely want to get her that crossbow. That's priority one. Okay, that's one that she can learn at a later time. And that's one we definitely want her learning. Ah. So here, here, and here. It doesn't really make sense that we do a bridge from that to that, so. She can keep this one. This is probably the one we don't learn. So yeah, let's build her to this one. Get her some of this time magic. Alright. <clears throat> and that's where we'll leave it for now before we really, really focus on what more we want. He's the only one who can use the bangle right now. I don't think we particularly need it. So yeah, let's give him the hand axe. He could use a shield if he had the ability. But I didn't think of it. So yeah, hand axe for him, that's going to raise him from 17, from 6 to 17. Pretty significant. And then she's got plus 5 on the crossbow. And uh, her evasion goes up with that as well. So cool. Very cool. We got our, got our people ready to fight. 
we'll grab a save, and we will progress into the palace. Oh, hello. I think it's a map of the waterways. And now I'm trying to realize the order of events. I know that there is A dungeon and I know that there is the escape from the dungeon I'm trying to realize where like where does this take us I, I, I'm thinking yeah I, I think I remember now uh, so we just we get to the end of this we fight the boss holy shit she just one shot that thing Yeah, we get to the end of this, we fight the boss, yeah. and then, like, immediately we're captured and thrown in the dungeon. Pretty sure that's what's up with that. Damn, Fran. Shoot him. Beautiful. Oh shit, there's another one right on us. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, friends don't work though. She is absolutely destroying everything with one hit. Very nicely done, you know. We might we might see ourselves moving away from the whole quickening strategy. You know, I, I've said it before, I'll, I'll mention it one more time here. I'll f hopefully stop ha feeling a need to explain it, but... When I played before, my strategy for every boss was... Let's throw... Quickening chains at it and hope it dies. Like, I, I very rarely, if ever... Fought the thing head on. It was always, let's, let's try to just one shot it with our quickening and I would I would honestly do it we would go in we'd have the three of us here we'd go in and if we burned all of our slots I would send one of them out and bring in somebody else with a fresh three slots and then we would start a new chain with that person so we could hit four quickening chains at minimum against every boss and quite often that would result you know in, in taking the boss out before it even gets an attack in on us you know that was the way I did it and it worked really nicely most of the time and I remember like the the final esper he was hard, like, he had enough health that it was really hard to do that. And so pretty much if we didn't get it done, he just killed us. Because we weren't set up to fight. Yeah, that's plus one defense. They've actually already got some on. Let, let's see if he has, you know, the ability to grab that. He has a lot of license points. But yeah, he's using like legitimate armor. Like he can't, he can't just wear this leather stuff. But 
We can get the sword and increase his health by a lot. That seems very worth worth doing, so. Let's go ahead and grab that. Plus 230 health. Yeah, that seems very worthwhile, so. That's where we'll go with that. No, oh, you fucker. And I just want to, again, you know, we're, we're learning a new game here, so I'm going to have to be checking this stuff a lot. Just, uh, you know, here's time magics. We're going to go into accessories down here. I'm just curious if there's any, you know, white magic for her. I'm uh, not, not close by, at least. There might be some down the way, but no, no white magic won in the early going, which is what I hoped for. I like, I like having that healer, so. Yeah, you got that, friend. Oh, I didn't actually check to see what their gambits were set up as. Especially Vaughn, who doesn't seem to do anything unless I tell him. Let's check this out. So, yeah. Nearest visible. And what do we have? Nothing. Ally less than 70, less than 50. Let's do less than 50. I know this is going to result in him doing it immediately. But that's okay. Use, use a potion. Alright, so that's your job, and then... I want you to do... The party leader's target? Unless the, he's not targeting anything. And then do you have anything... Do you have anything for healing? You you can cure? Holy shit. When did she get that? Well, in that case, no. Don't do that. Yeah. Whoops. Didn't mean to turn that off. There we go. Okay. What about you? Can you cure too? No, you can't. So where the fuck did Fran learn how to cure? Is it just here? No. I don't know where she got that from. Yeah. But she can do it. Yeah, I don't know where she got it from, but she knows how to do it. And she's actually going to keep doing it because he is way down after getting that plus 200 some. Now she should be fine. 20 minutes left on the timer. Yeah, it's, it's very cool that she can heal, though. I don't know why she can heal. I don't understand it, but... The fact that she can is awesome. And... I feel like I don't want to save right here, but we're going to anyway. I think I think a cutscene happens right there, and Ash joins the party as a guest. Okay, who's got the protect on? This guy. So this is who I want to fight. 
get this asshole down. Okay, she's not joined yet, but I think she joined like immediately after this. This is actually a boss fight, you can see by... Yeah, there she is. She's hanging out. And she was... She was the one in that cutscene earlier that we had to skip where it gives a hint of new uh, events unfolding. And Vossler was actually there with her, who we saw in the tutorial. So, Miss Ash, how you doing? But I cannot watch you, unfortunately. Amalia, her name is Amalia. So yeah, she'll, she'll be here, she'll do her own thing, but I cannot... Well, I was going to say I cannot instruct her, but I don't know, it was, it was actually letting me instruct her right there. My recollection is that, you know, they help, they help out, but you can't, you can't tell them what to do at all. But right there I was able to, so that is very interesting. And she's got a lever equipped. There's a cutscene? Ah, Mr. Flan, how are you? Does anybody have black magic? How? Fran, how do you know these things? I could... I could set it so that she just does fire against any enemy, and that would make it less work for me, but I just don't think it's worth the trouble right now. Ah, there they go with the blind. Got Fran with it. There's one, there's one. Bam. Well done, well done. Should I give her some mind drops? Nah. She'll be fine, and then I think... I mean, that... That was technically two boss fights in a row. But then there's like a real boss fight coming up. I thought... Yeah, I'll, I'll use one here. I thought we were a lot closer to the end. She, she's a big source of damage. Yeah, so I can tell her, hey, attack this. That's interesting. I, I know that wasn't the case before. Oh, by the by, uh, Balthier and Fran are both level 12, one level above Vaughn. And that's the way it works. No matter what level you are when you come in here, they are one level above you. Oh, hello, ghost. Damn, Balthier. Balthier don't work. Now Balthier is blind. Alright. He's not quite as valuable as Fran, so I'm not going to use the Hydra Hop on him. Oh man, I'm such a dick. Sokyo Fang, what the hell? Is that a weapon? No. So that is... I'm guessing loot. Nope. There it is. Deal fire damage to all foes in range. Yeah, not something I had known about before. Or Is 
Alright, double chests here. If I pick up some eye drops, I'll give them to both here. I feel bad about him walking around blind right now. We're just leading him by the hand. Poor guy. Everybody keep fighting, we got this. He's hitting. The ball through your hitting. Another ghost. Got a demon eyeball. Oh, this brings us around. I'll show this off because I think it's kind of cool. We crashed into the sewers and we we're kind of working our way around through them. As you do. And if we check out over here. This is actually the other end of that broken staircase that we went around right at the start and picked up the mace. Alright, we're gonna go this way, just making sure we're getting the map completely explored, and then we'll go this way. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Go around this way just to make sure we're seeing it, and then to the sluice gate controls, and we got a save crystal here. And I'm gonna do a lap around. There's a big like puzzle with this later. That I'm actually concerned that I'm gonna be able to figure it out again. It's, I know it's not simple, but I'm gonna try my best. All right, get the save here. About to have a boss fight. And with 12 minutes to go, it's going to be one of the last things we do. We might have a, a little brawl before the end of this episode, but there's we can open and close these devices, and it lowers and raises the water, and we can see some lights on the floor from it, and I don't remember exactly. I think we we're trying to get the center one lit up, but... We have to, like, we have, there, there's more than these four gates. There's, like, two other gates. One out to the east, one out to the west. So we, like, we first have to get this one open or something. So we can go open that gate. I don't know. It's a whole thing. Uh, we'll get to that at some point, I promise. But, uh, gonna have to skip this and welcome you to what may be every boss fight we ever have. Because quickening Red Spiral... Got a surprise for you. Got a surprise. Please. Oh, what? oh, press the wrong button. Oh shit! All right, I'm not used to having three. There we go. Make sure nobody else has one. Rick. Rick. Please. My oh God. Every boss fight ever. <laughs> I mean, that was the way I played it. I'm, you know, I'm going to I do what I can it. to do it differently this time around. My oh God. But I'm probably still going to open with this and then fall into regular fights, please. Especially since we get to keep our MP after we do this. Alright, so we got six there. We're gonna hit him with an Inferno. Should be a nice amount of damage. I don't know if it'll be enough to one-shot it, but... Back. Oh, they gave us Kai Clism. I didn't realize we hit enough for that. Maybe it's not seven. Maybe they changed it, but there you go. He's out. We gotta skip that. But yeah, he just... He, he doesn't really die or anything. He just kind of goes crazy and runs all around. And then we're under arrest. Like, guards just pop up. Like, hey, what's this? number? And then they take us to the stocks. Balthier manages to give the goddess's magicite to Penella, who's like, she comes up kind of sobbing at Vaughn, like, you're supposed to stay out of trouble. And Balthier's like, here, take my napkin. But the stone's in the napkin. Ooh. 
And so that's, you know, safe from the guards, but we are not, and we get thrown into the dungeons. And, like, a, a judge comes to visit for some reason, and now we are ready to explore a little bit. Save your strength and stay out of trouble, he says, but... I think I very directly need to get into trouble. But it seems like we didn't really have that fight with the three Sikhs that I was thinking about. I don't know... No, I think I do get to do this first, because I, I remember... You can get rusty knots out of these chests. And like those can help you in the fight if you if you get them. So I do kind of remember that. We'll touch this, but we're not gonna use it just yet. And yeah, we're just exploring the dungeon. Ostensibly trying to find a way out, but Oh, I think there is a fight, yeah, there is a fight going on in the pit. And Vaughn, like, he is not cool with that. So he, he like, goes and interferes. Like, hey, you know, no, guys, we ain't doing that. And they're like, alright, we'll fuck you up instead. I think they might, like, straight up killed the guy. If memory serves. Like, they've got these maces, and I want to say they, like, bring him right down on his head. The guy with the protect, of course, his giant mace. But we're wrecking these guys because we are high level. There you go. Two on three, done. Skip that. This is where the judge comes in. And I think looking for maybe Vaughn or Balthier, even. But we're like hidden down in that pit, so we do not. We do not get captured, luckily. And I think memory is telling me. Like, like I said, very years old memory. Memory is telling me that one of these chests is also related to that sphere, and I think this is the last one I have to care about for a really long time. And then the next one's on a beach that we see a long time from now, so... I think we're, we're good as far as not messing up and, and missing out on that sphere, so... Let's get to work here. I'll take him. You two. Nope. No, not him. You two take him. A boy with a combo. Alright, Fran. Making sure there's no chests around. Okay, we did get a map. Uh, so we'll keep checking that. Kind of make sure we're going the way we want to. That was good. That was good timing on that kill. He was just about to get that off. There's a chest for us. They are a little bit harder to see. So you really got to keep your eyes open. And we're getting we're getting towards the end. I'm hoping. We can be quick enough to get to the next save point. But I'm not sure. I don't exactly know where the next one is. around here. I mean, it's good that she has the stuff. I, I just wish I understood why. Yeah. So there he only 30. I feel like hammers are a big like, gamble on how much damage they do. Like, they, they are generally rated much higher. Or an attack power, but then it's 
It's somewhat random, you know, how well they hit. There we go. Nothing to pick up there. Fran, you've got the you got the biggest hit. Biggest consistent hit anyway. Oh shit. That was a That spell hit Vaughn pretty hard there. But he's got so much health it still didn't count as 30%, so. Yeah, he's filling his tank roll very nicely. And I think I am going to do it the way that I remember doing it. I, I said at the time that I wasn't 100% confident that I was mem remembering it right. But even if I'm not remembering it right, it is what I'm going to do. And that is to always have Bon as the party leader and just switch out the people behind him so that he really functions as a tank. who can take that front line, he'll, he'll end up, you know, eventually getting levels above the others. There it is. I, I saw the thing over my head, but I couldn't see the chest. So yeah, he'll end up being levels ahead of everyone, and that will just, you know, make him all the more tanky. And he's going to be the one up there, and eventually I'm going to give him the class that works on spheres, and... He'll, he'll be the one carrying the Zodiac Sphere for us. There we go. And, you know, we're just checking everything here, making sure that we've got it all. Or nothing at all. I mean, there's nowhere left to fall when you reach the bottom. It's now no. You know what I mean? You guys know what I mean. Yep, my dudes. I, I'm going to keep reiterating. I don't want to skip these. I really do want to watch these, but can't do it. Can't do it, my man. All right, so I think this is where we find another guest, if memory is serving me correctly. Yep, there we go. And I'm pretty sure there is a save crystal right here, so that's great. So we will definitely be making use of that. 2,500! Jesus Christ! I had kind of remembered there being one here that could have like 771. But man, oh man, that was a lot more than I expected, so. Don't get many videos down here. Got any for odds huh? Don't reckon you saw whatever caused the terrible racket just now, huh? Been crashing straight down the stairs. That's the only way out. Got stunned and start looking for a back door out of this place. What about you? You plan on poking around these stones? Best go over it. I piece scared what scraps of this, that, and the other I can find. All manner of things. It may have something unique. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Buy this long sword, 100%. Equip that bad boy. And there's my timer. Alright. Um. Yeah, I get that iron hammer for him. She's already got a bow gun. Yeah, so. Get that buckler. And I'm gonna have to call this right here. I'll see if... Oh, what am I gonna do? I'll see if... I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go save. I'm just going to go save, and we'll come back to this. He's got a lot of stuff here. So, yeah, I'm just going to go save, and I'll see you guys back at this shop.